So we'll remember, traditionally, new members of Congress are like the red-headed stepchild to be seen and not heard. How would you, in that position, counteract that supposition, or who would you ask for assistance? Uh, I'm Rob Cornelis. I'll take the first question. I appreciate that. I think this is uh, this underscores one of the reasons why we in Oregon have so have been so misrepresented. Mr. Wu does not have influence in Congress. He sits on the end of the bench of his committees. Uh, he's not an innovator. He's not a creator, and he has few allies. If he was not in Congress, I don't think they'd miss him, and certainly I wouldn't. But I'll tell you why I'm so encouraged to get to Congress. I'm already trying to build bridges with people who are currently members of Congress because I know in order for Oregon to have influence, they have to see us as a, as a delegation, an Oregon delegation full of ideas, problem solvers, collaborators, and that's what I've been demonstrating throughout my campaign. Greg Walden is someone that all of us candidates should be looking to as an example, because I think he demonstrates that, and he has been someone who, one of several people in Congress that I have confided with, to try to learn how I can be most effective when I get back there. To be casting aspersions of members of Congress now as a candidate is not setting us up for being effective as a member of Congress. Jason Yergel, forum member and candidate for Washington County Commissioner. In the past year, Washington County and its cities have received approximately $14 million in American Recovery and Reinvestment Act monies for shovel ready uh, infrastructure uh, transportation projects. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I think we can all agree that Oregon needs help. We need help from Salem, we need help from Washington, but it's the way in which we receive that help that causes differences. And, uh, and earmarks is one example. And I think what the question is really alluding to is, do we support earmarks? I do not support earmarks. I support responsible legislation. Obviously, the federal government is there to provide infrastructure so we can have commerce. And certainly, that's what Oregon needs right now. We need more opportunities for commerce. I, I also oppose the stimulus bill. I oppose it because of the waste that's found within it. It did not stimulate the economy. Unemployment did not stay below 8% like we were promised. It exceeded 8% quickly, and it's been hovering around double digits ever since. So it stimulated unemployment, you could say. It stimulated deficits, and it certainly stimulated a government dependence. Instead, what we need to be doing, especially in Oregon, is stimulating small businesses. We need to give them opportunities and incentives to grow, to expand, to hire. That's the best way that Congress can help Oregon today. Bill Foster, forum member. About four weeks ago, I asked the candidates at that time, why are there so few Republicans in key offices, governor, senate, and in the legislature, and so forth? And at the next meeting, one of the members of the forum, who, who is here today, said, Bill, why would you want Republicans in these offices? Now, how should I have answered that question? <laughs> First of all, give me a name when we're done. It's very simple. A Americans want balance in our government. We see right now that a political monopoly in Washington, D.C. and in Salem has not produced good results for our country and our state. It's not working. And I would say the same thing, believe it or not, if the Republicans had the one-party monopoly. I also want to take uh, some blame as a Republican. I've been a Republican since I was old enough to vote. We Republicans have not put forth candidates who have had the ideas, who have had the ability to articulate those ideas, and the principles that we espouse in such a way that it's been convincing to the Oregon voter. Not since Vicatia have we had someone in a state office, I believe, that has been able to stand and take this microphone and espouse ideas so that people on the other side of the aisle say, that's not crazy, that's reasonable, that's pragmatic. Or we've had good candidates who've wrong, run at the wrong time. I'm the right candidate running at the right time for Oregon. I hope to have your vote. <laughs> 